Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, another awesome hands-on review with you guys. And it's another Lenovo product. And this one is the IdeaPad 100S. Now they do have a Chromebook version and this one is a Windows 10 version. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so let's get down to the specifications on the IdeaPad 100S. Now, it's running a 1.33 gigahertz quad-core Intel Atom processor. It's pre-built with Windows 10 Home Edition. It's running an Intel HD graphics processor with 11-inch display and a resolution of 1366 by 768. It's maxed out of memory of only 2 gigs, and the storage size is only 28 gigs. The retail price for this particular laptop is $179. All right, guys, so let's get down to the ports and features on the IdeaPad 100S from Lenovo. Now, if the laptop is facing you into the point that you can open it up like this, on your right-hand side, we're gonna turn it and we're gonna see what kind of ports we have. Now, it only comes with two, only two 2.0 USB uh, ports. And on the other side, on the left-hand side, you have your power plug. This is where you insert your power adapter. You have one HDMI. You have your combo jack, which is allows you to hook up your headphones as well as your mic. And right here, you have a micro SD card. All right, guys, one of my favorite parts on these hands-on reviews with you guys is uh, the boot time. So I have my iPhone over here with the stopwatch and the power button is actually located on the keyboard. So you have to actually open up the laptop. So I'm going to put my finger here and then put my finger over here and do it at the same time. Hopefully it goes up and go. Okay. Now let's see how fast it boots up. All right. So it took about 18 seconds, 18 seconds for the laptop to boot up. And the way that the laptop is set up is it automatically auto logs in. Uh, but if you have that disabled and you have to type in your password, I'll give it a couple more seconds. And especially if you have a bunch of stuff running in the background, like your Dropbox and your, your antivirus, that stuff takes a little bit, uh, uh, it adds a little bit more time into your boot time. But overall, 18 seconds is not that bad. All right, guys, so let's get down into the benchmarking on the IdeaPad 100S from Lenovo. Now, I ran Geekbench and it gave it only a 748 single core score. And for multi-core score, I gave it 2,167. I really yeah. don't recommend this laptop to be used for hardcore gaming uh, because it's just really low for performance. I also ran a 3D Mark, and because this laptop is not a high-performance gaming PC, it, it didn't even bother running the Fire Strike program. Uh, for Skydiver, it only gave it 448, which is a basic notebook and home PC, only gave it 1190. And for a low-cost smartphone and tablet, gave it a whopping 14,974. I was also able to run a cache and memory benchmark on this particular laptop. And as you can see on the latency, uh, the highest is 92.1 nanoseconds. That's the memory for read, write, and copy. The L1 and L2 cache was extremely, it wasn't fast. The L1 cache was pretty fast, 1.6 nanoseconds. But for some reason, the L2 cache was only 15.3 nanoseconds, which was pretty weird to me. Again, it is running a quad-core Intel Atom, but it's not really uh, an intense processor to run major things on. So let's get down into the multimedia processing benchmark. Uh, I have iTunes install the latest and greatest one, and I normally have about 10 audio files that I like to convert to AAC version. Now, the only reason that I kind of cut it short is because uh, this laptop is not really specced out. Again, it's a quad-core Intel Atom processor, plus it, it's maxed out to 2 gigs only. And the storage size is only about 25 to 26 gigs or 28 gigs. It's really low. So I'm going to try to keep everything short. So what I'm going to do is get inside the iTunes, going to do a Control A, and I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to create an AAC version, and I'm going to go over here to my timer and start it off. Yeah. 
All right, guys, so it looks like it took about one minute and 18 seconds to convert MP3 files that I got from YouTube Audio Library and convert them to AAC version within iTunes. So the next in my benchmarking list is the imaging processing. Uh, I like to install Photoshop CS6, um, and I have about 16 photos that I took with the Galaxy S5. And one photo is about, I would say 2.18 megabytes. So between two to three megabytes of size, which is pretty, pretty standard. Uh, and what I like to do is do a, a image processing script. So I selected the folder, uh, saving everything as a JPEG with the quality of 12 and I'm running an action of quadrant colors. So I'm going to hit run and start the stopwatch and see how fast that stuff works out. Run and start. All right guys, so it took about two minutes and one second, about roughly two minutes straight to convert 16 files, 16 images, uh, to JPEGs again to a quality of 12 and but we ran a image processor of quadrant I think quadrant colors so let's take a look at those photos so let's get inside our images and here goes our JPEG folder and here goes one of our images as you can see now the machine is not that bad for the specs that it has but is able to accomplish these things slowly but surely all right guys so let's take a look at the battery chart now i ran this laptop like a regular user installing stuff updating pushing out windows updates uh watching videos surfing the net when i first booted it up it started with 99 percent at 10 12 in the morning and this was on november 30th i had it off for a couple of days and i started it up again on december 2nd and it was 16 percent at 906 a.m and it died on me real fast at 9.50 a.m. A total of six hours and 36 seconds. That's how long the battery will last. Now it really depends on how you guys are using this. Uh, if you guys are using it off and on, you could probably get away with maybe eight hours. But the way I was using it, I was using it intensely, running things constantly, running the benchmark and everything. Six hours and 36 seconds is not that bad for this little guy. All right, guys, so another part of these hands-on reviews that I love to do with you guys is actually testing out the weight on these devices. Now, when I hold this guy, it's extremely light, and I feel like if I drop it, it's going to break. It is made out of plastic. So let's uh, turn on our little weight. Make sure it's in the double zeros. And we're just gonna put it flat down and see how much it weighs. So it weighs about one pound and 50 ounces, which is really light, it's not that bad. All right guys, so that's my conclusion on the Lenovo IdeaPad 100S Windows version laptop. I mean, for the price, it's pretty good. If you're looking for something that's extremely light and really cheap and you just need something to go online, surf the internet, maybe do a little bit of editing but not extreme editing with images and maybe convert a couple of things. This, lap this laptop is not that bad. The only downside about this laptop that I hate so much is the size of the storage. The size of the storage is only 28 gigs. You can't really install a lot of programs. I'm constantly getting a bunch of Windows error message stating, please clean up your storage device. You're running low on storage. That's the only bad thing about this laptop. It'd be awesome if it comes with maybe 128, 512 solid state drive. That'd have been awesome. All right, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy this hands-on review on the Lenovo IdeaPad 100S laptop, uh, the Windows version. If you guys have any comments or concerns, leave them at the bottom of the video at the comment section. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the Lenovo IdeaPad 100S as well as this guy. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.